Modernism is both a philosophic movement and an art movement that arose from broad transformations in Western society during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The movement reflected a desire for the creation of new forms of art, philosophy, and social organization, which reflected the newly emerging industrial world, including features such as urbanization, new technologies, and war. The development of science and technology has also expanded artists' horizons of understanding the world, and they try to create with new forms of expression and artistic spirit. The new genres that they pioneered, which are completely different from traditional art, are called modernist art. Its main characteristics are anti-traditional and anti-rational, attaching importance to the artist's self-feeling and self-expression. Revealing the artist's virus complex psychology. While in Asia, the late 19th and 20th centuries were a period of turbulence as well. Rapid transformation in social system, the regimes and economic system had great impact on people's life and even the spiritual world. The shock from Western culture also led people pondered over whether the established practices and old systems were the one and only way. The famous artist Gao Jianfu was quite a good example of that. Gao Jianfu, 1879 to 1951, was a Cantonese artist during World War II. He is known for leading the Lingnan School's effort to modernize Chinese traditional painting as a new national art. At the end of the 19th century, with the outbreak of the Democratic Revolution, the closed-door Qing Dynasty gradually collapsed. Then Western artistic thoughts impacted traditional Chinese painting, and Gao Jianfu was just in an era of struggle between the old and new ideas. In order to comply with the requirements of the times, he went to Japan to study twice, which enabled Gao Jianfu to further broaden his horizons and accept nourishment of foreign culture. He joined the League in 1906 to actively engage in democratic revolutionary activities and promote innovation movement of Chinese painting. He successfully participated in Huang Huagang Uprising, Wuchang Uprising, and Yuan Yuan Movement, which provided necessary objective factors for his future creation. All this doomed him to change, reform, and inject new elements into traditional painting. Gao Jianfu's flower and bird paintings were based on Julian's painting method, and at the same time, they had widely observed literary paintings and courtyard paintings, forming a spirit and relaxed style. Gao Jianfu's copying of ancient paintings is an inheritance of traditional techniques, among which the flexible use of water bumping against powder can be seen in many of his works. Gao Jianfu's flower and bird paintings were colorful, novel in style and unique in artistic conception. They paid special attention to the careful observation and objects and grasp of natural life. They emphasized the high generalization of things. The colors were cool and fresh, suiting both refined and popular tastes. In the creation of Chinese painting, Gao Jianfu inherited traditional Chinese elements. However, it is also different from traditional Chinese painting. It is no longer just imitating and plagiarizing, but absorbed Japanese painting mode in the rendering of artistic conception. Gao Jianfu took this innovation calling himself New Chinese Painting. Gao Jianfu had pursued advanced things, not satisfied with the state call of traditional Chinese painting. And then, he studied in Japan. With the deepening of learning, the idea of using Japanese and Western paintings to reform traditional Chinese painting emerged. His eclectic path injected a strong morphologic consciousness and shaping consciousness into the international literary paintings, and finally got rid of many bad habits of literary paintings. Where, demonstrating the excellent traditional aesthetic taste, the painting art could do accepted by more people. Gao Jianfu's learning of Western painting is first expressed in materials, and at the same time, he incorporated perspective anatomy, and a light and color of Western painting art into traditional Chinese painting creation. His paintings pursued expression of perspective, light, climate, and space, 
with particular emphasis on color rendering, which makes people feel creative and graceful. At the same time, he has made new breakthroughs in the use of painting tools. He also created novel methods from previous methods. Spirit is the main purpose, so his painting do not have the formative features of the ancients, and people can feel the spirit of innovation. For example, Gao Jianfu's paintings expressed volume of trees, rocks, and landscapes through color rendering. They did not use ink lines to outline the outline, and transformed the traditional ink into a style of using color to shape volume and light and shade. It has the abstract concept of Western oil painting. This style of painting has epoch-making significance and has impacted large numbers of artists afterwards. From Gao Jianfu's story and his illustrations, we can see that breaking out of the old and establishing the new were one of the main manifestations of modernist art in this period, which was quite prevalent among Asian artists. Japanese modernist architect Kenzo Tango, 1913 to 2005, was one of the most significant architects of the 20th century, combining traditional Japanese styles with modernism, and designing major buildings on five continents. He was influenced from an early age by the Swiss modernist Le Corbusier. In India, the Progressive Artists Group was a group of modern artists, mainly based in Mumbai, India, formed it in 1947. Though it lacked any particular style, it synthesized Indian art with European and Northern American influence from the first half of the 20th century, including Post-Impressionism, Cubism, and Expressionism. Above all, People no longer stuck to convention and were more likely to accept new things, like different culture, new technology, even a totally new era. They were more blocked to explore and try new ways to interpret things and express their inner feelings. In the early ages of China's reform and opening up, Guo Pei joined the first batch of fashion companies in Beijing after graduating from fashion design. From 1986 to 1996, for the first 10 years, she had been designing ready-to-sell clothing. But slowly, she always felt that the innovation and aesthetics at the design level were in consistence with market feedback. Although the clothing sales were quite good, she still believes that some changes should be made. The dream of designing a particularly beautiful skirt resurfaced in her mind again. She took inspiration from foreign films and earnestly studied the design of stage costumes for classical European repertoires of Beijing People's Art Theater. However, this dream was contrary to the actual demand in the market at that time. After repeatedly fighting with the boss and unsuccessful, she finally decided to leave and pursue what she really wanted. In 1996, Guo Pei successfully held personal fashion conference into 1997 for the first time. In 1997, Guo Pei founded her own clothing customization studio, Rose Squire, which was also China's earliest haute couture brand. In her 34 years of design career, she promoted the birth of Chinese fashion and became the most authoritative artist of high fashion in China. Modernist art was the product of the times, reflecting the conflicts and exchanges between the old and new times and cultures. Asian modernism was relatively mild compared with contemporary modernist schools with distinctive personalities and outstanding characteristics in the West. It was a way to inherit culture and has created a lot of excellent artworks by making improvements with new technical and ideas on the basis of breaking the old cultural barriers. The results showed integration and the development of Chinese and Western cultures, old and new cultures as well.